And so he got in my face, told me he was going to beat my, you know what, he was going to kick my, you know what, and he was going to F me up. And so that's why I called the police on him because... Team in as hard as it is. I I feel that if you're gonna team with somebody, you you really need to team with somebody that that you like like no no like like if you're married, team with your husband. If if you're a family member and y'all got that good bond, team with them. I know a few friends that team well, but if you're gonna team with somebody, both of y'all have to be on the same page do you hear what i'm saying yeah but she came with a guy well we'll, we'll talk about that in a second hold one. yeah we'll, but we'll we'll touch on that we'll touch on that but team and period if you're going to team it's all about coming out here getting the money it's all about that it's all about having the same priorities the same goals, the same mindset. That's what team is about. A basketball team, everybody gots to be on the same page. Everybody gots to be one goal. That one person that's on the team that's not doing what he's supposed to do, he's doing all that showboating and all like that, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Both of y'all needs to be on the same page and that page is to come out here and make this money trucking teaming male female the dynamic hey you you want to come team with me i'll team with you i'll team that's the problem with social media and and females out here like yo i'm looking for a team driver i'm looking for a team driver the guys that's going to team with you is not teaming with you to come out here and get this money they're teaming with you so they can have instant access to that p they're not on the same page as you and i i said that plenty of times that's why the dynamic is always messed up same thing for the trainer trainee male female the dynamic should be on the same page it shouldn't be off the page that that person who you teaming with and that person who you training is not supposed to be a facebook dating app that's not what these companies are paying you for they're paying you to come out here and make this money not to make a love connection why why you guys is not understanding that i don't get it i don't get it i, I don't get it now if y'all was outside of the company boyfriend girlfriend relationship or whatever the case and y'all come in together then i can see that but if you a, a a driver that is 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 put together as a team that company did not put you guys together to make a love connection that company puts y'all together to go out here and make this money what is up with that i i don't understand it and i and, and i see a lot of of male and female that get in a situation and it turns out to be good in the beginning but then effed up in the end because somebody's goal is different than what your goal is now in this young lady's situation it sounds as though her and him was they got together by a facebook dating app maybe a dating app i don't know but i'm just using facebook dating because she said in the she said in the video as we heard now hold on about the story this man he dropped his phone he was on a top bunk i was on a bottom bunk and he dropped his phone on my bed i'm good at cracking codes so after his phone had been in my bed for an hour and he didn't come get it i cracked his code and went through his messages y'all why this man he was always asking me for pictures of me in lingerie pictures of me in my swimsuit and i would send it to him why was he forwarding my pictures to other women I'm talking about look at her trying to get with me she's trying to sleep with me look what she sent me i'm like huh but when he would forward my pictures he would always block out the message that he sent asking me for the pictures and he would block out the message he sent telling me how sexy i am so come to find out this dude was trying to mess with like three different women and he slept with a prostitute y'all when the hotel uh when the company paid for our hotel the dude slept with a prostitute he did a video even showed the money he gave her I'm like wow and i'm on a truck with somebody sleeping with a prostitute i don't think so oh but um the reason i called the police on him was because he got upset when i told his girlfriend about everything 
And so he got in my face, told me he was going to beat my you know what, he was going to kick my you know what, and he was going to F me up. And so that's why I called the police on him because like he was getting very aggressive. He was really, I'm not going to say violent, but he was just really, really aggressive. He was all in my face and yelling. It was a wrap from there. I don't like no grown ass man, you know, in my face yelling at me, threatening me. So it, it's just, I was done. If you are a truck driver, please go solo. If you're going to team, make sure it's with a close family member or a spouse. Don't team with a friend. Don't team with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Y'all, this was a horrible experience for me. This man got me all the way here just to disrespect me. And y'all, it's, it's a long story and I can't get into details because this video can only be so long But because I'm on Snapchat. But um, it was a really bad experience and I'll tell y'all about it later maybe. Oh, well, he was, he asked me for pictures and lingerie and I would send it to him and yada, 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 this, that, and the third. So obviously y'all must have had a, whatever the case, and y'all decided without even knowing each other fully, y'all decided to go team. Now, we don't know his story. We only know yours. I'm, I'm always the type of person that want to hear both sides of the story because if you if you bring him on social media because of another video that I seen, you did show him, you ain't show him all the way, but you show a piece of him, but now you, you did what you did. Let's talk about what you did. Now, she says that the phone had fell into her bed and he didn't get the phone for about an hour. Okay, all right. But why why go through his phone? It's not yours. It's it's not yours. Why why you just why you just didn't put it back up there? Up on the up on the bed. Why you just, just get put it if you was asleep and the phone fell, why not just put it back up there and keep it moving? Fellas, the phone's gonna get you in trouble, bruh. The phone's gonna always get us in trouble. Believe me, I know. My phone got me in trouble. I know. I know that. But but in this case obviously there was trust issues if you had to crack the code he dropped his phone he was on the top bunk i was on the bottom bunk and he dropped his phone on my bed i'm good at cracking codes so after his phone had been in my bed for an hour and he didn't come get it i cracked his code and went through his messages in order to get into this man's phone i don't i don't know about cracking codes maybe he was sleeping you just use one of his five fingers to get into the phone i, I could see that more than you actually cracking the code. And I'm good at cracking codes. I cracked his code and went through his messages. To get into this man's phone and to see everything that you saw. Text messages, the pictures, the pictures of, of you, him sending to other females. That's kind of weird to me if you did do that, bro. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird to me that you would send pictures of a female to other females. I don't know about that one, but it is what it is. You did what you did. But as far as her going through there and seeing all of that, and now she claims, well, actually she has a video or a picture of the cops in the in 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 the TikTok of her actually calling the cops because the dude got wild. Think about this, man. You you broke into the man's phone. How do you think he's going to react? And I'm good at cracking codes. Let, let's call it what it is. You you broke into the phone. I'm not here to get on you or nothing like that. I'm just going by what you put out there, the, the little information that you put out there. And then you turn around and you say, hey, oh, this man, while we was broke down, had sex with a prostitute. Ain't this the dude that you supposed to be with? Wait, ain't, ain't this the man that you said that you sent private pictures to? The same man that's that's having sex with a prostitute in the in the hotel that y'all was staying in when when y'all was broke down or something like that? Also, did you catch when she said he got mad? That's why I called the police because I said I was gonna call his girlfriend. So who are you? Hold on. This dude was trying to mess with like three different women and he slept with a prostitute, y'all. When the hotel, uh, when the company paid for our hotel, the dude slept with a prostitute. He did a video, even showed the money he gave her. I'm like, wow, and I'm on a truck with somebody sleeping with a prostitute? I don't think so. Oh, but um, the reason I called the police on him was because he got upset when I told his girlfriend about everything. And so he got in my face, told me he was gonna beat my you know what, he was gonna kick my you know what, and he was gonna F me up. And so that's why I called the police on him. 
she's a whole home wrecker. I I don't know. I'm just I'm just going by what she said. I'm just going by what she said. She he asked you for pictures. He was always asking me for pictures of me in lingerie, pictures of me in my swimsuit, and I would send it to him. You gave it to him. You found out that he was giving your pictures to other females. You said you said that he has a girlfriend and he had sex with a prostitute. And he slept with a prostitute, y'all. When the hotel, uh, when the company paid for our hotel, the dude slept with a prostitute. He did a video, even showed the money he gave her. I'm like, wow, and I'm on a trouble with somebody sleeping with a prostitute? I don't think so. Oh, but um, the reason I called the police on him was because he got upset when I told his girlfriend about everything. And then at the end of the video, you're going to come back and say, oh, be careful who you team with. If you are a truck driver, please go solo. If you're going to team, make sure it's with a close family member or a spouse. Don't team with a friend. Don't team with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Well, yeah, I, I, I would agree with you on that part. I'm going to have to agree with you on that part. Yeah, be definitely be careful who you're teaming with. But that's where it all comes down to the vetting process right there. And don't get me wrong. This video is not about her per se. It's about you guys teaming with the same mindset. Especially if y'all been put together. Oh, don't worry about it. We can find a teammate for you. Oh, okay, no problem. But then when the when when it's a guy and a girl, the guy always thinks that that's his instant P right there. Oh, I got I I got my I got my instant F buddy right here in the truck. No, bro, it ain't bro. No. Now I can understand if it's a report to be built. I, I came across a couple of people that team for a long time and then it developed into a relationship. But they've been teaming for a long time, though. This sounds as though that y'all just got together. And if y'all just now getting together to team, you guys got to be on the same page. You guys got to gel with one another. And if y'all can't do that, then it's not going to work. Now, as far as me, me, yes. If I was interested in teaming, yes, it would be with a woman because I damn sure ain't going to share no damn back here with another man. Oh, the dude is teaming, right? Right. I'm going to give the woman the respect that she deserves and treat her as my co-driver as I should treat her as and go out here and make this money. And that's what I'm going to do. That's me. Same thing as if I was a trainer. I am going to train you on how to work out here. And that's it. I I'm not going to toss it to you. I'm not going to throw no in 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 you windows at you. I'm not I'm not going to do none of that. I am going to treat you like like the co-driver that you are. You're my co-driver. And I'm going to have to put my trust in you when I'm back there sleeping. Think about this, man. You, you, you teaming with somebody and you, there has been crazy stuff. There has been crazy stuff. I was back there sleeping. You thinking everything all hunky dory and shit. You wake up and you have a motherfucking fork in your chest. Y'all better come out here and concentrate on the job instead of concentrating on try to, on, on trying to make a love connection. That's what y'all need to do. Now, if y'all truck driving in separate trucks and y'all build a rapport, eight months six months maybe a year and then y'all come together in team do that but if y'all just got together and y'all was just put together and and the consensus is not the same the guy's always talking about how good you look how sm how you smell good and, and and innuendos and stuff like that that's when you tell bro to take me back over to the shop over to the shop and uh, and we can bid a do because it ain't gonna work now, as far as her, I'm glad she's all right. Again, shout out to her, but, and I, I do agree with her. Yeah, you might need to vet the, the your teammate a little bit better. I, I don't think she's going to team anymore, but may, maybe vet the person that you send the pictures to, too. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And as far as the guy, hey, you know, I hope everything works out for him, too. Again, like I said, I don't. I don't understand why you will show her pictures to other females, my guy. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, that, that part right there, I, I do not know about. That is kind of crazy. And number two, if you are teaming with the female that you supposed to be booed up with, 
getting a prostitute in the hotel that y'all two staying in is it's not a good idea either. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's what they do. Twenty two men. Twenty two whatever. That's what they. Do. Exactly. That is crazy. And he had a girlfriend too. Yeah, that's what she said. And the girlfriend didn't know he was teaming with a female. Uh, oh man. She. And the part where she said that she was gonna that she was gonna tell the girlfriend is pretty much what what set him off. I I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, she she did say that. Um, the reason I called the police on him was because he got upset when I told his girlfriend about everything. Yeah, she she did say that. 